widespread investigation of reports from funeral homes, morgues, and hospitals has concluded that the unburied dead are coming back to life and seeking human victims. Zombies, man. Welcome back to Thursday of the Dead, episode 125. My name is Chase. This episode is a bit of a return to form. Uh, basically what happened was there was a lot of Romero zombie items that I got uh, over the last month. And because of the episodes I was doing, um, I didn't do any unboxings. And so here's some of the things that I got. Uh, the first thing is this cool Night of the Living Dead 50th anniversary uh, collector's Blu-ray box set. Uh, I didn't get this for the longest time because it was too expensive and the blu-ray inside is the criterion blu-ray which I already have uh, and I'd heard some mixed things about this box uh, but I finally got a copy of this for a good price I think it was like 40 bucks uh, and I was surprised first of all at how heavy the box is and the reason for that is the graphic novel that's inside which is a reprint of the Fanico Night Living Dead comic book, which I'm a fan of. I was surprised that the graphic novel includes not just the uh, four issues, but also the prelude and the aftermath, which is pretty cool. I also collect the Night Living Dead London, made by the same people, and Clyde Barker. Uh, and I'll probably do a episode on that series in the future, because uh, I have a lot of different issues of that. I used to own a original piece of comic art from or one of the pages from that uh, years ago and I ended up selling it on eBay when I needed the money which I now regret but anyway this set uh, I think is very nice uh, I like the design of it I like the artwork on the box uh, I like the gold foil accents on the lobby card reproductions uh, I like how they did the graphic novel all in one soft cover. I mean, I would have bought the graphic novel just for that. Uh, but if you could find this set for, I don't know, under 50 bucks, I would say go for it. I've seen people online uh, posting that they got it at FYE on clearance for like 10 bucks, which is probably why you can find them pretty cheap on eBay right now. Uh, anyway, highly recommend it. The second is this book on interviews, uh, George A. Romero interviews by Tony Williams. Uh, this book is just basically uh, a series of interviews with George uh, going through decades, uh, starting in 1969, going into 2010. So pretty comprehensive. It's nice to have all these interviews collected in one volume. Uh, one of the things I've been doing recently is picking up some old magazine interviews with George, uh, just for my collection. Uh, the next thing is an autograph from Jeannie Jeffries, 
I actually got from uh, Marcus Lewis with Weekend of the Dead. Uh, I noticed on Facebook that he was selling uh, some extra autographs. I don't know about extra, but you know they had. I'm sure they have signings at their events, and so Genie is someone that I haven't been able to meet in person yet. So I picked this up for a reasonable price. Uh, it arrived in pretty good time, considering it's coming from overseas. And it's a nice addition to my Romero collection and Dawn of the Dead. Finally, a big one for me. This is my first George Romero check in my collection. I had a chance to buy uh, some of these checks a long time ago at a horror convention where John Russo was selling. He had a box full of these things. They were like 25 bucks. I should have bought a bunch of them. But, you know, I didn't realize at that time. So this one was a lot more than 25 bucks. Uh, and I got it. Uh, I've, I'd been staring at it for a while, and then I finally got it for the price that I wanted. And so now I have to figure out a frame for it. So I'm curious. Uh, I know that he worked with the animators a couple times. This check is from 75. So it's kind of a question mark as for what he's paying for, what film project or title sequence he's paying for in this. But I mean, it's a pretty substantial amount when you consider this is for 1975. Music and Monsters is proud to present The Music of Night God, which is available now on all your favorite streaming platforms, such as Apple Music and Spotify. Please visit nightgod.com for more information. <laughs> 